peel the Band-Aid off. Let's peel, let's peel the Band-Aid off all the way. Let's peel the Band-Aid off all the way. I go to work every day. I pay more taxes than I have to. No, 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 no. Because now you want to overtalk me. Now you want to overtalk me. I pay more than I have to because I have to I have to take care of a group of people. I have to now be responsible for bad decisions that women make because they, they fed into feminism and they sold themselves out. They sold their souls to the white woman to, to f*** up their families and now they're they trying to remove themselves from holding themselves accountable for the people that they open up their legs to. I got to pay for that f Is my fault? Because I live in a society where y'all and y'all pick president. Y'all policies, you pick these politicians, y'all making all of the decisions of what's going on in the company, in the country, and now y'all want to remove all responsibility that comes along with it. Y'all pick the politicians, y'all the, y'all the determining factor for whether or not we're going to have these policies that's going on. Feminism. We got all of these, we got all of these stupid Democrats in office continuing to raise the taxes so we, we can pay for these bad kids and we can continue to fund the prison industrial complex that y'all breeding them in. And I have to be responsible for it? Come on, man. At some point, y'all gonna have to look in the mirror and take responsibility and say, yo, we gotta do better as a community of women. Well, you know what? Good luck with that, because you know they allergic to that A-word. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. New to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Now, I don't I don't disagree with him at all. You know, I know Ant you know Anton isn't for the passport movement, but when he makes sense, he makes sense, and when he makes valid points, you know, ain't I can't I can't disagree with him just because he disagrees with other things. This topic in particular, oh man, he went nuclear. And I'm like, shout out to the subscriber that sent me this because y'all know I look at B. Taylor the same way I look at Kayla. Like, they they two peas in a pod, literally. And from what I could see on the panel, she ain't, she ain't have her back up this time. She was all on her own. And, man, Anton dropped some bombs on this one, man. Check this out. Jesus women because even if every single guy that is a good guy decide that they want to exercise this discipline the majority of the dudes that y'all picking to have kids with is the worst of society and then y'all yep. want to come on later and say hey b-boys Watkins and save us y'all and y'all kids and everything that them kids stand for <laughs> oh. oh my god I'm I would just let it play, but dear. Not my responsibility, and you need to own that and suck the up, go to work, do whatever you got to do like a man got to do. Because let me tell you something, the family court law, they don't even care about whether or not the man can afford it. If he don't come up with that money, he going to jail. I don't see that happening to women. Y'all want equal, but it ain't equal. Because it ain't equal responsibility, it ain't equal in the family court law, and you know how I know it ain't equal? Because at the same time that y'all advocating for more feminism, more equal rights for equal play, y'all advocating against family court laws and updating the laws that wasn't even designated or, or allocated for y'all in the first place. It wasn't even meant for y'all. Y'all took advantage of the system. Y'all f***ing up our community. It's y'all fault. And you know what? I want to speak on what he just said, because this is something that I have brought up a, a, a lot. If women really wanted equality, they would be fighting for men to be more involved when it comes to, um, you know, like if, like if y'all get separated and y'all got children, why would you not want to split custody? You know what I mean? Why put the man on child support? Why not just split the custody 50 50 and when the children is with the man he handles certain um responsibilities and costs and vice versa like you see what i'm saying what women don't realize is that these the the government makes money off of y'all getting getting child support 
this is the reason this is the real reason why they push y'all so hard to the file for child support it's not to benefit you it's the really to benefit them they're the ones making money off of it well i'm like why why else would a man get put in jail for not paying for it think about it i made i did a video on that a while ago too let's keep do you think it's equal or they're fighting for superiority i just wanted to based on what they you call it a devil that's what they are I would say Did somebody steal your wheels recently? When when a woman is broke, she gets governor men assistance. Hey, Mr. Lego, Mr. Lego, you can't town. do that no more. You can't do that no more. You can't do that no more. You cannot do that no more. You're not doing that this show. No, you're not. Because I'm watching. Yeah, he, he goes y'all see, y'all see don't the the No, you gotta stay on hold. You gotta stay on hold. Her children. Hey, she hey, is gonna say how to read the super chats. Yo, Ali is butt hurt. No, so they can literally no, no, no. Think about it. They can literally take a man's name, make take a man, Send and him to put jail. his name on a birth certificate in order to get benefits mm-hmm. for it, and he's responsible for that child, even if the even if the federal government know that it's not his kid. Right. It's men going to jail today for child support for kids that's not even theirs. Not even theirs. That's crazy. And y'all want to sit here and have conversations with us about responsibility? First, you're going to have to come to the table in honesty and in truth and being real about the situation that y'all putting these guys in and y'all putting yourselves in. Y'all can't even come and be honest with who y'all are and y'all want us to be able to support y'all and protect y'all and hold y'all down and marry y'all. And then y'all wondering why black people, why black men is divesting themselves against these women? What makes you think that they want to be with y'all and y'all not even honest with yourselves and coming to the table honestly? We don't even ask nothing from y'all. We don't ask y'all to do nothing for us. We don't ask y'all to bring money to the table. We don't ask y'all to support us. We don't ask from y'all. All we are is behind the eight ball because we continue to subject ourselves to the very person that we lay next to is really our enemy because they won't even be honest with what it is that they bring into the table. You bring in lies, deceits, irresponsibility, and you're looking to get a you're looking to get saved and you're looking to retire. All they do is use us. They don't actually add value. You want to know what's really wrong with the black community? Is that the woman is out of her purpose and she's not a help meet no more. Yep. She's the enemy. She's more of an enemy than a white man ever has. She's more of an enemy than anybody in history has ever been to the black community because she's the very person that comes in with deceit and looks to use you and then dis- and then disperse of you when she's done with you. And then she'll move on when it's all, it's all said and done and then say, well, what about the kids? F*** them kids and f*** that woman too. I throw the out with the bathwater. Throw the baby out with the bathwater. Start the f- over. Get a whole new group of women, and then and then fix the community that way. Cause we tired. Damn, Anton. If I ain't know any better, man, it sounds like he ready to he ready for the asteroid to come too. I'm telling you, bro. At this point, I think that's the only thing that's gonna save it. That's that's gonna save us, man. It, it's a reset, a complete reset. And then Let's fix the moving. community that way. Cause we tired I, I, can't, of I can't relate. I, I don't know if this mm. is like a personal thing. I, no, I it's real. No, I'm not the problem real. in the community. I'm married to my woman. I've been married for almost 19 years. I never had a child out of wedlock, and I still got to look at my paycheck and say, "Who the f- is these little kids?" Have that I'm you actually for? know? Like, have you actually right here where most of your taxes are going? Because yeah. most of your taxes is going to Medicare, to you, not Medicare. To you, uh, to who? To you, single mothers, to single to mothers, who? single mothers. No, 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 no. Because no. what yeah. you're not gonna do is group me in there because none of y'all know my business or my personal life or what I got going on other than what I show y'all. Y'all don't know what I got going on. Y'all don't know what's happening over here or with my children. Be careful. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down. We're not talking about you. Calm down. Calm down. I don't get government assistance. So that's for one. Don't try to stereotype me or any of that. No, because I'm a I'm a I'm a I have a right to defend myself. Don't point at me and say to you. Say to whoever you're talking to. No, it it's to me. you. And the I'm reason not, is to I'm you. Not a government the reason that is to you and I'm not is giving, because I'm you're not, the one no, that's you're no, the one I'm that's not. spouting you out these talking me. points. You no, you me. are you are you, you are just me. as much as the problem so mad because you support your, your wheels. Got you're the one that's off of your car. You're so mad that your wheels got stolen off your car. You want to start pointing the finger at every black woman that probably have a kid. You don't know what the they got going on in their situation or they like but you want to sit here and have the nerve to point the finger and say somebody's getting government assistance you don't know what no I you feeling going guilty on now because so now you got to substantiate your argument you want to know where your taxes that you know are that going you, then you, you spent will some look wrong up stuff. and see where most of your money is coming from your most of your money is being taken out by medicare not medicaid 
So if you actually look up where your taxes is going, then you would know and stop being mad and pointing the finger at whoever and being mad about your check. Fellas, fellas, the minute that y'all realize that she is literally a representation because she's I don't the one. care if you can stereotype me all you want to, Anton. I'm not gonna let you. You didn't even that. let me finish what I was gonna, gonna say. And this is this is one of, this is another reason. This moment. is another reason why men tend to Go walk away from the table. Clip, clip no, because this, moment, this is another I... reason because it's funny because you asked me for respect and I let you talk. I literally no, shut the panel. Be, no, I shut the panel down. I literally I was stopping Boozer, I stopped Mr. Leg down. I asked Ali to hold off, and I said, hey, y'all, let her finish her point. Now mm -hmm. when I get passionate about something, you don't want to hear it because you feel like you're taking it personal, right? No, you pointed, you said you. You are, and let me add the context. Okay. You are a representation of what it is that we not rocking with because you're the one that made the point. You standing on these principles, you advocating for this, and you also are, re are refusing to hold women accountable, which is your sisters, right? Because I hold my guys accountable. I push for the things that's best for our community, and I'm also a representation of what I would like to see, right? But when you say certain things, and I'm not talking about you and your personal situation, because I don't okay. know your situation, but you're a representation of it because you're espousing all of these talking points that's bad for the community. And so when I say you're the problem, I'm talking also about your mentality. And you know what's so funny? This is what I mean when I say women are contradictions. If you watch my live reaction to the crew season where her and Kayla were over here accusing, um, you know, the whole, oh, nah, we, we weren't, we, when the one guy tried to hold her accountable for how she was speaking and she wanted to sit over here and say, oh, nah, I'm not, ta I'm, I'm not, I'm not cussing at you. I'm just, I'm just talking the way I want to talk. This is literally the same thing in reverse. And what did she do? Took it personally. Rules for me, rules for thee, but not for me. And another point that he made, this is exactly what I'm talking about as well. And you, we can actually relate this to the um, reaction that I just did prior to this. These women don't really have respect for us. These women come on these other men's panel and talk over them as if as if they're as if it's their panel and women think that they have to they the women feel entitled to be able to talk them in this way because they think if they don't they're seen as weak not at all it's just a matter of respect you know what i mean and you're on somebody else's panel and when he tells other people to hold off so that way you can speak why come you can't give him that same respect when he's over here speaking himself you got to talk over him because you automatically assume that he's attacking you personally when in reality he was referring to your mindset because you're supporting and defending the very behavior that he's saying that's bad for the community that's all that's all anton was saying Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. He he went off, bro. It, I ain't seen him go off like that in a minute. New to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. Helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the traveling vlog. Unplug traveling. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.